this one I'm gonna start with. I'm starting with the white mailbox due to the fact that they didn't have any black mailboxes, which kills me. So I'm gonna have to paint this one black when I get done. I'm gonna take that board right there and I'm gonna cut out some circles for the wheels on the back of it. And then what I did is I cut out the wheels on it. So I just basically took a, a jigsaw and I cut these out right here, these two. Actually, I did a practice one first. This is my practice one first. So these would be the back wheel for the train on the mailbox. So we'll get this put on the box next. I think these are gonna be the right size right here. So it'll be like that on the back. I like that, and then I'll make two front smaller wheels. That's it. Just be on the back of this side over here. So let's get it working on these two front small wheels. I'll probably use this one here, this practice piece, to cut a smaller one out of it. Okay, that's gonna be the, the front wheel there. I think that'd be about the perfect size for the front wheels. I gotta make two of these for this side here. So let me get this cut out first. Okay, I cut out the first piece. Right there, so that actually, I think that's gonna be a good size. I need to cut another one so it'll be like this. Okay, let's get the next one cut out then. All right, here's the second one. I think it kind of looks like it's supposed to be. It looks pretty close to me. Oops about it right there all righty then now we have all that was my template right there rubbing compound by turtle wax <laughs> that's my template for the wheels we have all four wheels done for both sides of the mailbox now slide these up right there on the other side just put it up there right there so this is starting to look a little bit more like a train all right um this is what we did, got the wheels on. And what I did now is I made these little sticks right here. I notched a little bit on the end on one end and then notched the end out on the set a little bit of a longer one here. Basically what this is so they can overlap each other like that. Oh, wait, see how they're overlapping each other like that? So I'll put like, when I get ready to mount all this together, I'll put one down here and I'll put one up on the wheel like this. So that's how that'll look on both of them, like that. All right, ah, crap, my compressor's going. Uh, so what I did is I built a backstop. This is going to be the, where the conductor sits at for it. So what I did is I, I etched out the wheel on the back side so this will sit flush right there. It sits on here, so it's going to sit flush like this on the box. And I can build my where the conductor sits right in here. And everything so basically I want everything to hook together so I can just nail it to the mailbox in the back here and then put one screw in the front for all the stuff that goes down the front I had to put the cattle catcher on the front too so but we're working on where the conductor sits right now all right sorry my compressor is back on again so what I did is basically just build a box for the like I said so this is what it looks like I just cut out the front to go around the outside of the box so now I put something here on the back of it too maybe the next thing to do back with a little window and I'll cut the windows out here and everything but I had to get together because it's so fragile to work with all these pieces so I just put two screws on the bottom to kind of hold it together to get my box together so well so far so good still a long way to go all right so this is what we got I got the top done I put the top on here just put it around put a decorative piece around got the wheels cut I'm working on the front guard and I'm gonna take sticks just make like a pointy in do like a point and then stack sticks or sticks stack wood up from the point back so I'm gonna do that now and I went ahead and just made this piece here I know my phone died and I couldn't get another one so I went out and bought some decorative pieces to put like right here I'm gonna work on the bell next I just put a piece of wood here with a little reflector up in the front for the light there so but that's what it's looked like so far so oh well, we also got a black box by the way <laughs> If you haven't noticed that, I went from white to black. Uh, I had a white box. I was just using that for a pattern, but I went and bought a black mailbox. So, on to the next step. I bought these cool little lanterns today at a hobby shop, right? So, I put them on, I made a little mount for them, a little round thing and a little square mount. I think I might put them like here on the front, like this, after I draw the window in. 
or I might put them back here where the conductor is. I don't know yet. All right, so what I did is I just took a piece of metal, and this is a little bell I got from the gift from Hobby Lobby, and I put a little string, and I just super glued this this bracket of the cord, and then once I get the conductor window drawn in, I'll like glue this to where the conductor window is. But I put the bell on just now, so. Oh yeah, by the way, I painted this black. I think I'm gonna do one more coat of black on the top. But, I put the cow catcher on the front. I told you, what I did is just stack the wood back and forth like little steps up on uh, both sides. And I just attached it to the front. Alrighty, time to paint. That's what I'm doing now. I'm gonna put a couple glosses uh, of, uh, first I did flat black. Then I'm going to do gloss black on top of it. Probably about four to five coats. Um, definitely going to put a lot of coats on it because this mailbox is going to be in Florida. And we all know how brutal the weather and the sun is in Florida. So put a lot of coats of uh, gloss black on it. Alrighty, so I got this the done. This is done with the bell on it and everything like that. But I had a stack. This was the stack I was going to use for the smoke stack on it. But after putting it on there and seeing that it is way way too small for this I mean that's that looks dorky so we went back to Hobby Lobby today and I got a bigger one which is a bigger base and a bigger bowl on the top of it which is right here and then I got one of these here like this now that looks pretty cool that looks more like a stack off of an old train or something like that see but the problem is the bottom here is too wide for the base this is six over on the sides right here and here so what I did is I just took it I glued two of them together like this here glued it together and then I cut the base on each side here to match the rail that goes across the front of the train and now this looks a lot better like that it actually looks more like a train stack so I have to paint this to match now so okay all right all right all right well this is done I got the bell on got the stack on you know the bell the bell's not secured all the way into place yet so this is how it looks sideways I put a number four in the front engine number four I should put number nine engine engine number nine coming down the county line so got the all everything's attached now and everything's ready to go All right, this is a stencil that Christine cut out. So that's going to be the spokes. What I'm going to do, you see it's already, I laid over one and did it. It came out really good. I'm going to do the other ones right now. Um, it's kind of hard to hold the paper down and spray paint at the same time. So I'll just do, uh, I'll do them and then I'll put a clear coat and then I'll show you what they look like. All right, these are what they look like. I just put the clear coat on them. I put it around and she had two stencils, the crosses for the spokes and then the outside of the ring. So... That's what those look like right there. They're a little bit off, but hey, it's a mailbox. What can you expect? Okay, I laid the pattern down on the piece of paper. This is the back wheel. Not too bad. I gotta do another one that Christine made that covers the circle and makes the outer part of the rim for it. So that's when we, I gotta let this dry and then do that next. We're getting there. Ooh, what a pain. It takes a while for paint to dry. Okay, did the outside of the rim. Of the, uh, rim. And I just put a clear coat on it right now. So we'll let that dry, which would be like 1900 hours for everything's drying so slow. There's a lot of humidity in the air today. So, all right, let that dry and we'll start assembling it pretty soon. All right, so that's what it looks like so far. Thank gosh for the stencils that Christine cut out because it actually made it a little bit better. Um, not bad. So, the next step is we got to do the windows, paint the windows in, two in the front, one on each side, and then put the little lanterns either here or in the front. I don't know what we're going to do with that yet, but, and then we got to put the little rails on the wheels, but not bad, not bad. Okay, this is how far we got now. Now it's time to, I was going to cut some windows in, but instead I'm just going to mask this off and paint some windows in to make it look like it. To have windows in there because I don't really want to keep this open that much on the front and the back by putting all the windows in. So I'm just going to paint like there's windows on the side and in the front. Alright, so I took the mailbox off to make it a little bit easier. I masked it out and I put like a white 
paint look like a window on here right now so I just sponged it on so let that dry for the window and then we'll go on to the other side and then we'll do the two front windows on the front next all right the side windows are done and painted and I'll put a trim around the side windows now I'm working on the front windows here so I need to mask off where my window is gonna be on the front I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna put two kind of small windows with a divider in the middle is what I'm thinking let me get it taped up and see what it looks like first all right now that looks better now I think we need a divider piece here in the middle let's see seven is three and a half minus that is a sixteenth so that's the middle there and all right paint the front windows put trim around this one and the side windows now i'm gonna figure out what the i made these little like uh i don't even know what these things are called lamps i know they're lamps but railroad lamps or something i don't know where to put them i don't know maybe like like here i might do it like that so all right let me find out place or on the side oh that is not bad on the side hmm so I went ahead and installed the little lanterns. That's what they're called, lanterns. I just remembered. So they're on the front. So now we get to install this back on the box. All right, so I wanted to do a side shot real quick. So it doesn't look too bad with the windows in now. It looks really good. Now I got to do the wheels, install them, but I got to put the bracket on the bottom of the box first or you will never get this mounted onto the uh, mailbox stand. So I'll do that next. And then I'll attach the smokestack and everything like that. And then we'll go on from there. All right, so I popped some holes in the box. What I did too is I have the screw that comes out here. This is for the mailbox mount itself, right? So the wheel won't sit flat. So I just I hollowed out a little hole right here in the wheel right there. So that would sit right with it. So it would go just like so. Wait, there you go. Perfect. Just like that. So let me switch bits. See, this is why men, we need more than one drill. Like, we need like seven of them. So we can always have one on hand with a different bit in it. Instead of changing it up all the time. All right, it goes this like this. It goes like that. Right up against there. We'll go underneath here and pop this hole in. There it goes. There we go like that. Pull down like that. And one more in the back. Let me see what we got going here. Perfect. Look at that. Now, what we do next, let me pick up the box, is I have to put these long arms on here so it looks like a choo choo train. So it's going to go like that. And this one goes back to this back wheel. Let me see if it'll, oh, it fits nice. Okay. Let me get this installed next. I might have to shave just a hair off. I'm gonna shave a hair off of this. All right, beer back. I gotta take a little bit off this end right here so it sits a little bit more flush than what it is. A little too bouncy for my taste. Okay, turn a little bit off. Let me see what it fits. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. Nice and flat. We'll run that one to the back spoke there. We'll run these to the front spokes here. Oh yeah, that looks a lot better, doesn't it? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and I'm gonna staple gun these in. So it's gonna go there like that. Perfect. All right, nail this in now. Right there. Right there. Right there. Well, I just finished it up. It was uh, it was fun. It was actually kind of a little bit difficult. I've never done this before, so I just went by just by. I didn't mean. Just by freehanding all the stuff that I need to freehand. So it came out not too bad. I'll show it to you out in the sunlight now.